Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from Thomas Earnshaw. Now they produce some pretty dressy kind of watches. They have a Swiss made line as well. Uh, but this exact model is one of their newest models. It has a day and date complication which functions in a very unique way. And that's what I found interesting about this one. It's the Cornwall Retrograde ES8077-02, the black dial variant. Comes in four different variations. Price point is 230 pound, but you can save 30% using the code WA30 at checkout. Now let's jump right into it. Now let's start off with some basic dimensions and get that out of the way. We are looking at a 42 millimeter case in terms of diameter, so it's not really a big watch. As you can see, the lugs here are kind of short, so it kind of wears like a 41, I would say. Now the movement inside is a Japanese quartz movement. As you can see, this is ticking away right here. It's a three-handed with a day and a date complication. As you can see over here, we have this red arrow which displays uh, the date. And then we have the day of the week down here right above the Thomas Earnshaw applied logo, which is surrounded by these uh, applied Arabic numerals over here. We do get a mineral crystal on this watch and we get a pull and push crown, which is uh, very easy to function. And it also is signed as well with the double E logo for Earnshaw, which is pretty nice. The case is comprised of complete 316L stainless steel. It's polished pretty much all around, as you can see in a very high polish. It has the Earnshaw logo engraved here, which some people might not be a fan of or some people might like. I personally don't really mind it. Now in terms of the actual lug width here, we are looking at a 22 millimeter lug width. So it should be no problem if you want to change out straps. So we have that 22 millimeter lug width, that 42 millimeter diameter. In terms of the actual thickness of the watch, we are looking at a pretty thin 10 millimeters. We do have a quartz movement inside, so they're able to keep the uh, thickness down a lot. And 10 millimeters is pretty thin there. Now, looking in a little bit closer at this dial right here, now we have a lot going on. We have the double E on the counterbalance on the seconds hand. We have these large Romans, which are very pronounced. And then we have the day and the date. So I'm going to pull this crown out to the first position. And as you can see, that red arrow is going around. If I can get you a little closer here. You see the red arrow is going around for the date. And then it flips over to go to the other date. 21, 22, 23, 24. I think it's pretty cool. I can do it in fa a little faster here for you. I think that's a pretty cool way to do it. Now if you go uh, the other way, as you can see, I'm going to change the day of the week. There we go with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Final position is your hacking or your time set position. We have nice long Breguet style hands with slight loom pips on the end. And that's pretty much it to function the watch. A very simple watch. It's definitely a dress watch in my opinion. I like what they did with the dial here. As you can see this little design over here going around. And then it's kind of just matted over here. The smooth bezel is completely polished. And I think all in all, all, in all it looks pretty good uh, compared to some of their other releases. The buckle, we have your typical E buckle for Earnshaw which is signed in 316L brushed and polished stainless steel. We have a genuine leather 22 millimeter strap here. As you can see, it is stamped genuine leather. Now the case back is uh, screwed down. It's water resistant to five ATMs or 50 meters. So it's definitely not something to take underwater. It does state Japan movement, all stainless steel and Earnshaw, the model number 8077. Now uh, it's a pretty simple watch, but um, you know, it's an affordable watch as well. An affordable dress watch. And, you know, I believe at 230 pound and then you minus 30% off that, you're looking at a pretty decent price for a well-made and well-finished watch, in my opinion. Um, I do like the dimensions. I like this kind of enlarged crown here. I think it looks the part. Uh, the watch certainly looks more expensive than, uh, it, than it actually costs, which uh, is a good thing in my book. I do like that kind of different shades of blue you get sometimes from these watches. I'm not sure if these are uh, air coated or something like that. It doesn't state on the website. But uh, right now I want to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist, give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like on the wrist, and I'll be right back. Now here is the Cornwall Retrograde on my 6.5 inch wrist. And it fits just fine. It's very thin, rides definitely on top of the wrist as you can see. 
Now the Ben uh, tapers down from 22 down to 20 at the buckle. Um, just so you know that. And yeah, I think it looks like it's a pretty good look here. It's not, uh, you know, it's not too much going on in the dial. It's very legible with the day and the date. You know, day and date automatic watches can be very expensive. For example, a Rolex day date, you know, can be 20 to 30 or thousand dollars plus. Uh, but this is a more simple quartz day date with the Japanese movement at a cheaper price in a dressy style. Now remember, remember guys, I'm not here to sell you anything. Uh, if you like the watch, that's great. If you don't, I'm not trying to, you know, throw things on top of you. Uh, I'm just kind of reviewing the watches here. But anyway, all in all, this is the Earnshaw Cornwall ret Retrograde. I think it's a pretty decent priced dress watch. I think it looks fairly good on the wrist. And I really have no problems with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, share with your friends. Also throw me a like, it helps out a lot. Subscribe to my channel, check out my blog, all that info down in the description below. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.